I kind of feel like a broken record. Yes, interest rates are higher, but let's talk about who's getting hit the hardest by those higher interest rates and some success stories. This is the weekly report on Major Money Matters. Hey, welcome to the weekend. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Major and I'm the host of Major Money Matters. And I want to share some information with you about what's going on in the economic world and how it's affecting the housing market. But before we get into that, hit that like button, hit subscribe so you get notified every single week when we post the weekly updates to inform you about what's going on in the housing market. So let's get right to it. So let's look at the charts here. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this before, it's your first time to the channel. This chart shows mortgage-backed securities. Now, as this line trends down, interest rates go up. And as this line goes up, interest rates trend down. So first thing you see, people always ask me, hey, this week, are interest rates higher or interest rates lower than they were last week? So I put a block around the last time when I put out a video last Friday um, where mortgage-backed securities were trading during that time. And you can see the other blue block. Uh, you see the, the other line there and it tells you that yes, that line is trending lower or that line is lower. So that means interest rates are slightly higher than they were uh, on last week. Now, one other thing I wanna share with you is this other chart. Now, this chart shows the 10-year treasury, um, how the 10-year treasury is trading. Now, if you look at this line, now as this line goes up, interest rates are certainly going up. So you see the 10-year treasury, and you could add, usually you could take this, um, if you see this line, this is trading at about 2.63 right now in the 10-year treasury bond. And if you take a look at that, if you add about probably 2% to that, you can see kind of where VA rates are, or government rates kind of in that range. So, you know, government rates are in the, you know, 4.6, 4.7 range. Uh, that's with good credit. Uh, if you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, where are conventional rates? Conventional rates actually trade about 2.5% higher uh, than the, uh, than the, uh, than the, the 10 year treasury on average. So, conventional rates are in the fives, low five range, um, assuming, uh, depend, depending on your credit score and your down payment. So yes, interest rates are higher. But I wanna take a second here, I wanna talk about who that's affecting the most. The people who I'm seeing that affected the most by these higher interest rates are people with lower credit scores, people who are just qualifying for mortgages. Now, everybody's being affected, but those people are actually being affected the most. If you're at a 620, 630, 640 credit score, when the, when the market shifts and rates go up, those are typically the first people that are actually hit and they are hit the hardest uh, when the market shift because they are perceived as the greatest risk. So keep that in mind. The other thing we're seeing a, a big trend of is people who are uh, maybe lower income. If you're doing a conventional loan and you're lower income, um, then you're seeing a big change in uh, the amount that you're qualifying for. Uh, you, at a lower interest rate, you might have qualified for, for more uh, on a purchase, but now that that interest rate is higher, that's starting to affect your qualification range. Uh, so if you're not working with me and my team, I put these videos, videos out weekly to keep my, uh, my buyers engaged and informed about what's happening in the market. But if you happen to come across this YouTube channel and you're not, um, you, you haven't talked to your, your loan officer or your mortgage professional, say in uh, two to three months, yeah, you need to give them a call back, get an update on your pre-approval and find out exactly where you are. So keep that in mind as you're out there shopping. Now, I'm, I'm in Hawaii right now um, and I am seeing, you know, it used to be a year ago when, when people were coming to Hawaii, the E4, because of their BAH, they were qualifying still for five, dollars $600,000 on a purchase because interest rates were in the twos. Now with those interest rates in the fours, you're starting to see those people qualify for maybe three fifty, four hundred. dollars um, in order to get into a property when you consider their uh, three, 350 to 400,000 in order to get into the property when you consider that HOA. So it is a challenging time. Still, I recommend buy a house, get in where you can get into your home 
uh, in order to uh, in order to start building equity. All right. Those things being said, every time I get on here, it sounds like I'm being the bearer of bad news, but there are some people who are absolutely crushing it and winning in this market. So I want to take a second to highlight some of those people. So first up, uh, hats off to So Nieves. So Nieves is in, uh, is in Fort Hood, the hood as I call it, Fort Hood, Texas, uh, serving mostly military buyers, but she also serves some conventional FHA buyers. She's absolutely amazing. And hats off to her because she is now the owner of our record for the fastest escrow on a VA loan, 15 days. Now we were trending around 17 days, 18 days, um, and so crushed it at 15 days. We're changing the way that VA loans are done and the speed at which they're done. Uh, and so is a big part of that. So thank you so for getting your family into their home in 15 days. That's from contract to close in 15 days. Also hats off to Zor Morales. This couple right here, I tell people all the time, hey, the first thing you need to do is just get pre-approved. They talk about the inventory, interest rates, all of that stuff. Just get pre-approved so that we can get you prepared to make an offer on a home. So hats off to Zor Morales. We found out about a property that was falling out of escrow. This couple in this market actually got seller credits uh, towards their closing costs and their uh, appraisal came in higher than the purchase price. So Zor Morales, part of the Vasquez group at EXP here in Hawaii. Fantastic job. Great job. All right. Also part of the Vasquez group. Uh, hats off to the Vasquez group this week. Bonnie Walker, uh, hats off to you. Got your buyers. Now this couple is absolutely amazing because they are absolutely crushing it with their VA home loan benefit. They now own one house in California. They also own another home here in Hawaii. The house in Hawaii is a duplex. Uh, and so they now have three, I think about $3,000 when we did the math of passive income coming in. All of those homes, bought, both of those homes bought with their VA home loan benefit. So despite interest rates, despite people saying, hey, you can't get into a house, all of this stuff, there are absolutely people out here crushing it and making some fantastic moves in this market. So really, I have data to take away all the excuses that people say about not being able to get into a home. I have a fantastic group of realtors that I work with. So I have an amazing group of realtors that I work with. So if you're in Hawaii, California, Colorado, Texas, Tennessee, or Virginia, and you're looking for a home you're, uh, and you need someone to help you find a home, just give us a call. We can connect you with one of our outstanding realtor partners to help you get into a home. Now, if you're pre-approved right now, um, I want to tell you about something that I think is severely underutilized. It's even underutilized among my borrowers and my people that I am working with. So it's probably underutilized on a national level also. UWM, if you're working with a mortgage broker, UWM, United Wholesale Mortgage, and your broker brokers to UWM, has a program called Lock and Shop. Now, um, there are some other brokers out there that are doing this, but usually uh, you need to, right now, as of today, I don't know of many retail establishments that are doing this. Most of your broker shops have companies they can broker loans to, to Lock and Shop. Now, why is this essential? Because it never fails. I'm sitting down at the signing table, and, and granted, I'm a mortgage professional. I see rates every day. When I have to lock an interest rate, I'm clicking the lock button to lock somebody in. I'm like, man, those rates are going up. But by the time I get to the closing table, 21, 23, 24 days later, I'm sitting down. I'm looking at the closing documents. I'm like, hmm, not a bad interest rate compared to what interest rates are today. And they're going up just that fast. Lock and shop gives you the opportunity to lock in your rate before you go shopping for a home. Typically, you have to be under contract before you lock that rate. But Lock and Shop gives you the opportunity to lock in your rate and go shopping. We're doing a closing this coming week, and that family or that uh, that young lady, um, she's a she's a military service member. She's closing in the mid threes. When if she was locking right now, she'd be locking in the mid fours. So she saved an actual point because she said, "Hey, major." I think I want to go ahead and lock in. I'm going to go ahead and be aggressive about looking for my home. And you can lock and shop with UWM for 60 or 90 days. It's an absolutely outstanding opportunity. What do you do if rates go down? Well, we're brokers. So we just put you with another lender. You really have nothing to lose by locking and shopping, but you should be aggressive about getting into a home. So that's it for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this. Forward this to a friend. 
uh, who needs help buying a home. Also, we're available to help you in any of the states that I list listed earlier. God bless you. See you next time on Major Money Matters.